So recently, I had a company reach out to me to ask if I wanted to review their bone conduction earphones. What is a bone conduction earphone? What's cracking everyone? My name is Ryan and today I want to talk to you about the Ellie Bomb bone conduction earphone from the company Telcon. Now disclaimer here, Telcon did send this out for review. However, all thoughts and opinions are of my own. So what in the world is bone conduction earphones? Well, I honestly had to do some research before I got this into review because I had never heard of it myself. Interestingly enough, bone conduction technology can be dated back all the way to Beethoven he actually invented the technology, is uh, what I'm reading anyway, through clamping down on a metal rod while he played on the piano. As you know, Beethoven could not hear, so this allowed the vibrations of the music to resonate in the body and the skull and through the bones, thus creating bone conduction. And then date back to 1994, I believe, is when the first con bone conduction earphone was produced. And thus, nowadays, we have uh, quite a few bone conduction earphones and headphones from different companies. Uh, one of the most popular ones uh, that I have found anyway is Shox, uh, S-H-O-K-Z. So you guys can kind of look that up. I'm also gonna link something about the technology down below because I don't wanna get too far in depth on that. Instead, I wanna talk to you about my experience with the Ellie Bomb. All right, so first of all, in typical fashion, I'm gonna tell you right now that these do retail in at $69.99 now. You can find them quite often under $50, especially with the coupon from Amazon. And as far as I know, these are mostly sold on Amazon. Now, the Ellie Bomb are going to include, of course, the earphone themselves inside the box. You're going to get this arm patch, arm patch, this uh, arm cell phone carry case, MP3 carry case, whichever that you can wear on your arm, of course, uh, to carry around as you're going around with the earphones. You're also going to get the USB-C, or excuse me, not USB-C, but micro USB to USB charge cable that will plug right in and charge it right up, as well as, of course, the instruction manual. And then you also get two foam inserts for your ear, earplugs, whichever way you want to call those, along with the earphones. More on that here in a bit. All right, and so as far as the build and comfort goes, so build-wise, this is mostly a metal and uh, plastic type, actually silicone type material that they use for this. In fact, it's titanium alloy on the skeleton of the device itself. And the silicone on there makes it so that you can do a twisting like this and it is going to come back into place. It's not going to you know, stay the shape when you do have to twist this when you're putting this on. It's only 25 grams of weight, so it is very lightweight. And just to kind of show you, you know, how these fit on the head, they are just going to simply go right in front up here on this part of the ear, so they're actually not going inside my ear. And if you can see this in the back, they actually kind of sit behind the head a little bit. And I mean, these are very comfortable when you put them on. Uh, it does take a little bit to get used to at first. If you're used to wearing earbuds, headphones, like I am myself, IEMs, then you know, you're not gonna be used to wearing something like this, but it's not uncomfortable at all. And this rests right against your head because this is where it is going to send the vibrations there through this device here. Of course, you're getting sound here. And yeah, that is uh, really about what the build and comfort is. And like I said, with being 25 grams, it's very lightweight, very comfortable and rocking these things on my bones, man. So it's good. All right, so then as far as Bluetooth technology and all of that is concerned, it is gonna charge in about two hours. It's got 16 hours rated of standby time. It can last up to 150 hours of just normal uptime with no functions. And then it's said to last about nine hours for active you know, music listening, answering and ending phone calls, things like that, which by the way, as far as the functions of the device, you've got a couple of different buttons going on here. 
This one here that's actually on the right earphone, this is going to allow you to skip tracks, whether forward or reverse, also answer and end phone calls. And then the one back here that's underneath, it's gonna be your power button, but it will also adjust volume levels for you, whether up or down. So very simple features on the buttons, but I kind of like that. They kept it simple. It's easy to understand, and it was pretty quick and easy for me to learn how to use this device. Also, what I thought was pretty cool when I paired it right up to my, uh, I have a Samsung S22 Ultra. I was quickly able to pair that right up with my uh, cell phone. And then into the media app of my cell phone, I was able to go ahead and track the battery percentage of the device. So you don't need an app to download for this, which I am very thankful for that. No more apps, uh, you know, additionally for what I need, just use my music app, play this through my phone. I'm good to go, dude. So it was cool. I liked it. And before I forget to mention, this is also rated IP65, which basically means that it is water resistant to things like sweat, moisture, rain, you know, simple things like that. Because of course you're going to be wearing these, you know, at the gym, out running, outside, you know, working in your car or whatever. So you are going to collect some sweat from that. It's not going to be any problem. You know, I tested that myself, no problem at all. All right, so I'm just going to kind of talk to you about my experience with this because I really don't want to do this like my normal audio type reviews because to me, this is not an audiophile device. This is a technology device, uh, which it's got some very cool technology. So I want to talk to you about that. So basically I approach this from the standpoint that these are said to be great for somebody that's wanting to be able to listen to music or talk on the phone, but to hear your surroundings completely as if you're not wearing headphones or earbuds at all. As we all know, if you're wearing earbuds, especially with noise isolation, you can't really hear things around you that well. And in fact, you know, that is something that sometimes can be a little bit of an annoyance. Uh, and then also, if you're driving in your car and things like that, you're not gonna be wearing headphones or earphones. I mean, that just don't do that, trust me. You can wear these though, because you can hear your surroundings easy enough. And I tested this when I took these to the mall because you know, we had to go last weekend, we did some shopping, the mall was super busy, there was lots of people around, so I had these on, I went ahead and was playing some music, and what I thought was just super cool about these was the fact that I'm walking down the mall with my family, with my kids, my wife, we're talking, and I can hear them just fine, and I'm listening to this music, and I stopped for a second, and I was like, she just kind of looks at me like, you know, what, what's wrong? And I said, no, this is just like, it's like I'm listening to the mall music, but it's my music, so it's my soundtrack. You know, you walk in department stores, things like that, and you're listening to whatever songs they're playing. Well, this is gonna overtake that. I didn't hear the music and things playing in the mall. I heard this playing through my ears and feeling the vibrations and all that, but I could also still hear the surroundings of the mall, which, like I said, that's cool. Now think about that. You know, if you're a worker in construction or things, that's gonna be a little bit louder, but same type of concept here, right? Or if you're driving in your car, you're going to be able to hear the traffic. You're going to be able to people talk to the people that are inside your car. I mean, you kind of get the idea here. If you're out running, you're going to hear your surroundings. So that part of the technology was super cool and just something that, you know, I can get behind and I can understand why that's important and why that's a good feature. And I will talk about sound uh, just because I feel like I should, but not in as much depth as I normally would. And so no surprise to me really, there's not much base to these because you know, when you have that open design like that, you know, think of open back headphones, you don't get a lot of bass in those. Some you can just depending on how they couple, but with this, there's no coupling at all. So the bass you're getting is vibrating right here from the uh, bone conduction earphones. And it's a little bit of a tickle and kind of a, not a spark, but it's weird. It's like something to get used to and treble wise and things it was perfectly fine in fact if you're somebody that likes listening to singer songwriter vocalist things like that uh this sounded wonderful with that i was able to listen to that and just kind of chill out or you know go about my day with what i was doing more aggressive music you just got to get used to that constant vibration here and the fact that there's really no bass uh, i mean that's the best way i know how to put it now if you do use the earplugs with these and i kind of wondered why earplugs? Well, the reason for that is earplugs are to extra protect your ears so that if you are in a super loud environment, concert, which, no, don't do that at a concert, that's rude, uh, concert wise, uh, or, you know, just uh, construction, like I said, or things that are really, really loud where you need to wear earplugs and still listen to these, you can do that. 
Now, what it sounds like to me is like what it sounds like when you're listening to music underwater. Like you take a dive, you hear music outside, it's that muffled sound because you're wearing the earphone inserts. Apparently, there are some earphones out there, and I believe I read this from the company Shox, that actually has an EQ button feature that is supposed to enhance like the mid-range because that's really what's dropping out in order to make them sound better. That's really cool technology. I want to check that out. I did reach out to Shox, and I'm hoping to eventually get some of theirs to sample in. This does not have that particular feature. However, if you had uh, some type of software and you wanted to do some EQing on that, you could try that and see how that sounds. Personally, for me, with the earphone, ear tips uh, in my ears, earplugs, sorry, in my ears, I didn't enjoy that sound at all. And me being a sound guy anyway, it's just not something I would really mess with. If I have to have ear, you know, earplugs in my ears, then I'm probably just not gonna listen to music. Although if I check out the other ones, then I'll see how that sounds. All right, so I kind of have gone through a pros and cons list already a little bit, but just to kind of bullet point this, uh, pro-wise is definitely the feature set of these and the fact that you can hear your surroundings around you, you can take them with you. My wife actually asked me to get a pair and I got another pair of this uh, other brand that, uh, you know, I don't even have the name remembered here. In fact, here we go, um, I can just show you. This is a, another pair of earphones I got. They were less than 40 bucks off Amazon. Those did not sound near as good as these and the volume dropped out a little lower than these did. However, these other ones have some lights on them or something for the nighttime. But the point is she listened to these and liked it so much because she could do chores around the house and hear the kids just fine. And that's kind of something she was looking for. So very cool that, uh, you know, my wife's into them and she wanted them. So we've got two pairs of them now. Uh, and then, you know, another pro of that too is just like I said, you can finally listen to something in the car if you don't like your own crappy music on your radio, maybe your radio doesn't work in your car, you can do this. Also, talking on the phone, answering and ending calls. I did this while I was at the mall. I talked to a family member, I asked them, I was like, you know, how do I sound? They were like, you sound perfectly fine. I was like, cool, because I'm, you know, listening to some bone conduction earphones. And they're like, the hell are you talking about, right? So. I explained that anyway so they could hear me loud and clear, crystal clear, however way you want to put that and uh, it was cool. So then on the flip side of that, things that are not so great about these, if you are an audiophile, don't get these thinking that you're going to get some fantastic sound. That is not what these are about. So that would be one. Two, again, to kind of go with the sound, the bass. You know, there's a drop out of bass. Even if you wear the earplugs, yeah, you might get some more bass, but you know, you're gonna have to do some EQ in there if you want things to sound a little more accurate there. So that's another con. Another one also, if I can show you guys really quick. So if I put these on, and let's say I wanted to wear like a stocking cap or something, I tried that, I wore a beanie actually, and because of how this protrudes here and is over my ears right here, it just didn't work. It was, it was weird, it like smashed them in and it was like fumbled over the back of this. Um, now a hoodie or something, sure, you can pop that over your head. Uh, I would imagine wearing glasses would be semi-difficult. I mean, look at this. This is going right over your ears. So, you know, if you're going to wear sunglasses or your regular glasses, you know, just know that as well. And just a regular hat. So fitment-wise, you know, you may have some issues there, at least with this particular set, which, again, pretty similar to this one too. Uh, so that would be probably the other con I would say about these. But that's really about it. And so let me wrap this one up. So in wrapping up, Telcon, thank you for sending out this product again, the Ellie Bomb. Uh, yes, thumbs up for me. This is a, an excellent product. It's a really good piece of technology and something that I enjoy doing some research on. And now that I know about these, I like them. I'm gonna be using them, wearing them around the house. And uh, you know, I can't wait to check out some other ones just to see if I can get some better sound quality. And I did kind of do some researching into that. I know companies are working on trying to enhance the sound better so that you can get the best of both worlds. Uh, I didn't put this on the con list, but just one thing to note is you don't want to blast these. Like if you're out in a noisy environment, you don't want to just go boom and just blast these out loud because you can still damage your hearing. Even though these aren't directly in your ear, it is supposed to help protect hearing a little better. You can damage your hearing though if you're trying to listen to these in full blast to compensate for your surrounding environment. So just know that these are not meant for that. In fact, if I were to recommend a feature of any earphone like this, it would be kind of an audible thing that says, you know, hey, this is the max that you should be listening to these. You know, maybe not something like, hey dude, don't listen to these too loud or 
you know, maybe something a little more professional than that, but you get what I'm saying, just kind of a warning tone to tell you don't turn these up past this level or you could potentially damage your hearing, something like that. Anyways, all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed my impressions of this earphone. I can't wait to try out more of these in the future. I love this technology. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please smash that like button. Continue to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everybody that has so far. I'm going to continue to get some more content out to you guys, whether it's audio or technology or a mixture of both worlds. So I will let you guys get back to doing whatever it is that you do. I'm going to get back to learning more about bone conduction technology. And in the meantime, I will see you in the next one.